hello hello everybody hello loves my name is nisha welcome to my new channel nisha that girl if you like diy shopping hauls and bargain hunting then yes i am that girl i consider myself an extreme couponer everybody that knows me loves what i do and always say they want to go shopping with me because i love to coupon and i get stuff really really cheap and i have a huge stockpile um yeah you can ask my husband it's pretty big my family comes over and go shopping um christmas i'm normally done by august so yeah so if you could just join me in my projects and my diys i am a stay-at-home mom and recently started doing a lot of diys and projects um for my two baby girls right here which they're about to turn two and i've done a lot of projects for them diys and i'm gonna do a lot more here coming up soon especially with them getting ready to turn two. Oh my gosh i can't believe two years has gone by so anyway um just like subscribe and follow me and see where this channel brings us okay so the first thing that i got um i am a stay-at-home mom right now of twin girls um they will be turning two soon so i've been doing a lot of diys and projects lately for them and i'm going to be doing a lot more um so the first thing i got were these cute tutus now they're in the halloween section with the costumes right now so they will not be in dollar tree much longer after halloween so if this is something that you want to get i suggest you go ahead and get them right now because this stuff like this will go and not come back until halloween of next year and i opened one just to see how it looks it's fairly big it does stretch out pretty much like if i wanted to i can fit this because it stretches i love the iridescent and the um, shine to it they had different colors they had pink blue white um I'm trying to think a oh, purple they had purple which i thought i had bought a purple but i think i put it back and i just got the three whites and i am doing um a diy with these soon so follow me and see what i do with these my next item that i purchased were these two tiaras and they have the jewel stickers to go with them and i got two for my girls and i know you're thinking if it's three and up they're not even two yet <laughs> i do have an idea of uh, what i want to do with these one of my baby girls love to put on tutus and dress up already so of course the tiaras is going to be for their little dress up station and then the oh here's a picture of the little girl in the back with the jewels on her face so i like i said i do have an idea of what i want to do with these right now i don't know i haven't decided on it yet but i got two of these just in case because again this is in the halloween section so after halloween they're gonna be gone let's see what else might be gone after halloween i don't think well <laughs> I got this um, headband slash wig dress up fun. <laughs> this one's four and up. I keep getting older, right? Um, this actually, right now, it's going to be for me. It's going to, yeah. So I got <laughs> one of these. <laughs> Stay with me. You'll see what I do with that if I use it. So the next item, I seen someone post these 
on Instagram. Um, I haven't seen anybody haul them in videos yet, but I did see somebody post them on Instagram and I went on a hunt for these and I'm going to tell you why. So my girls don't play with Play-Doh yet. I mean, they could, but I was just not that brave yet. These are um, Crazy Art Softy Dough um, Molds and Make. And this is Bo Peep from Toy Story 4. And that's how it looks. And the mold. So you get, let's see. So you get the mold and two packs of molding clay of some sort. And those, are, I think, are the colors. I haven't opened them yet. And then this one is frozen. Same thing. You get the mold of, this is Anna. So you get the mold of Anna and the two packs of clay with the two colors. And this one's purple and red. I really don't know where they get the red from because you're supposed to look like this here. I get the purple, but I don't know where they get the red from. But these are super cute. And like I said, I have not let my girls play with Play-Doh yet. So these I'm going to be using for um, cake toppers. So they're not going to be used for the Play-Doh that you get in the boxes. I'm going to take the molds and I'm going to use them with fondant instead. So these will be really, really cute um, edible figurines to go on your cake so if your daughter is having a frozen theme um party you can make your own fondant molds because you have a mold here and use it with that or bow peak they have other ones um these are not the ones that i wanted but they're a dollar and so i thought i should get them because you never know your kid may want a frozen theme later or a toy store you never know they have um, I think I've seen Daisy. Um, I, I'm not sure if I saw Minnie Mouse, but if I do find Minnie Mouse, that would be perfect. But I really want Daisy. So Daisy and Minnie Mouse, I'm on the hunt for. Um, and any other characters I can find. Um, yeah. So I will be going back to look for those. Next, I have the dress-up shoes. Uh-oh. Looks like this one's upside. Oh, no. My bad. Um, I was looking wrong. Um, this is Disney Elena. I haven't seen this movie, but it is super cute. I have seen people post these and um, post videos on these. Of course, these are going to be huge for baby girl's feet, um, but it's Disney and it's only a dollar. For dress up, they'll grow into them because it's like a hard plastic. So, it's still, even though, well, I got two of them, bad is attached. Even though it's a hard plastic, it's still kind of flexible right here at the foot. So not too hard for you for their feet but they're playing dress up so they probably won't keep them on there anyway so I have that next we have the crafter section um in the crafter square section they have the new roller cutter um and I haven't seen anyone use this yet it says great for cutting paper fabric vinyl and more i was doing a project not long ago um my previous video actually when i made my chair and i really wanted something like this and i didn't have it um every time i went out i would forget i would forget to buy it and i seen someone post it in a video saying that they had these at dollar tree when i went past few days and I seen them I was like let me grab two of these I probably end up giving one to my mom so if I see them again I'll get another one but these are perfect for cutting anything like it says fabric paper whatever and I needed it for fabric at the time so I'm hoping that you know it is from the Dollar Tree 
um, so I'm hoping it actually cuts fabric that is sharp enough and strong enough. I haven't tried it yet. I will let you know when I do try it to see if it works. Next, I have fastener dots, which is pretty much just um, Velcro dots. I got this, again, when I get stuff, I normally have an idea of what I'm gonna use it for. I normally don't just purchase it. Every now and then, if it's really, really nice and I feel like I might use it, even though I might not know what I'm using it for, then I'll get it. So these here, I have um, something in mind that I'm using these for. Um, they have the roll of Velcro available too, and that's over in like the hardware car section. But um, I thought that maybe the dots, because they're a little smaller already, cut to a small size instead of me having to cut the roll to a small size. I thought that this might work a little bit better. And if I need to, I can cut them even smaller into little, you know, um, half circle pieces if I really need to. Comes in handy. You, you should get some of these anyway. All right, what we got next? So these were in the toy section at the very bottom on the shelf. And it was a box of little neat um i guess you would call them diys and this one here is make your own perfume kit and i thought this was really really cute and the age is eight and up and this is not for my girls this is for me um because i love doing stuff like this i do bath bombs soaps you name it um so when i seen this one i was like yeah i gotta get this for myself it does not have okay yeah i thought automatically i assume lavender because of the color of the box not reading anything like what it included i just grabbed it and ran um so i'm just now seeing lavender fragrance which is uh lavender is great for relaxing and calming down you know at the end of a long day towards the night or whatever um or hanging out at night you just want to wind down so yeah and it comes with a cute little spray bottle it has all the stuff you need so i'm gonna love doing this for myself let's see i also got um this rope nautical rope here i did a project or a diy earlier in the summer I did not record it because um, I wasn't recording at the time and I never got to finish. I only bought one of these and ended up not having enough. When I went back, none of the none of the Dollar Trees had this color, the lighter color in. They all had the darker color rope in and I couldn't use it because I had already started the project, the DIY, and it was glued. So. I can never find it. It came back here recently, um, about a week or two ago, and I found it and I grabbed another pack. I only needed like a little bit more um, for my project, so I'm going to have a lot left over this time around, but for some reason, they just did not get any in. I thought that it would be like a summer item because of the lighter color rope. And then it went so fast and they never got it back. So I just figured it was one of those summer items that was not going to come back until next summer. But I was wrong because here it is. And I'm glad because now I can finish my project. <laughs> it's been sitting in my garage just unfinished. <laughs> Craziness. So next is an item that... Um, a lot of people were going crazy over and I am one of those going crazy over these floating shelves. I love these floating shelves. When I seen someone post a video, it's been about two months ago when they got theirs in and I kept looking whenever I would go and never seeing them. 
come back in they came in one time before and i grabbed a couple and i i have them up on my wall so i'm using them but i needed more and this was another item that just disappeared and didn't come back and i'm just like oh my gosh so when i seen it posted uh two months ago i was thinking i got to find that and i couldn't find it and it had been two months last week they just randomly popped up and my store i think they had just put them out because it was like a ton of them and for some reason all the good stuff ends up on the bottom shelf so they make you really work and look for it you know but um so i only grabbed four of these this time around um because i had grabbed a few before and i'm using them but i have them up in places that i wanted them and so i only have an idea for four of these right now but again they come in handy now if you don't want to put nails or screws in your walls um i'm quite sure they're kind of light so i'm quite sure command hooks excuse me command hooks will work for this um, I have not tried command hooks because I just, where I want these on my walls, I just put the nails in and just keep it moving. Um, I don't have that many anyway. I think I might have, I know I have two here in the office and I have two upstairs. So I, I only have four floating shelves from previous and then I purchased four more, which, um, two of these are not even going in my house they're going to go somewhere else you'll see later if you subscribe <laughs> oh speaking of command hooks they have um hooks at dollar tree um they have command hooks the brand command hooks and then they have just the regular generic hooks um self-adhesive hooks as well i needed the clear um the command brand command hooks was white and gray i believe and i didn't need either one of those colors i really wanted the clear ones so i grabbed a pack of these and it comes in a pack of six here's my other roller so mom if you're watching if you need it, I got it. Okay, so next, uh, Christmas. They are bringing their Christmas out. And my store had just a small section. And I only been twice. So the first time I went, they had the gingerbread man. This time around, they had the house. Which now I'm thinking I should have got the gingerbread man. I'll go back but I have to go back as soon because that stuff goes so fast um, I got the cute little house um, so I can paint it and make it all cute and Christmassy and um, they only had one y'all I don't know if I missed it and they were gone or they just put the one up and hadn't put the rest out I'm not sure so I do need another one because I do have a DIY that I want to do. Actually, I need two more. Yeah, I need two more. So I have to go back and find two more of these. And I'm going to grab the gingerbread men here because they're super cute to decorate and paint. You know, I bought the acorn for fall. I still haven't painted it yet. It's just now fall. I have time. And then this I hadn't seen before at Dollar Tree. It is a 3D wreath form. Now I buy the wreath forms um, all the time. I got all the shapes that they come in for the different holidays and different seasons. I had the pumpkin, the candy cane, the witch hat, all the new ones that they come out with. I get. I had never seen the 3D spear one and let's get up close look at that it turns into a ball so you can do like a ball of flowers or whatever you want and 
It's actually, it, you have to put it together. That's what this is. And because this one is like not on with the rest. And it just comes out like that. I don't know if you can see. But it turns into a spear pretty much. And so yeah, I hadn't seen any. This is one size. This is actually one of the bigger sizes. It's 14 inch. I do have a smaller size. I'm not sure the size or the inch. I think it might have been 10 or 8. Um, and I, I tried to find it, but I don't know where that bag is. I think that was like the only thing in that bag. So yeah, I grabbed it because this is great. For Christmas, he wrapped their lights around to make the spear balls. I don't know if you've seen people that have the light balls up for Christmas. This is perfect. You don't have to like do a whole lot of making anything. It just put it together, it pops out, wrap your light, hang it, you're done. Love stuff like this. Let's see. Down to my last few items, guys. So everybody knows that the balloon arches, um, the organic balloon forms, all of that is a trend now going with birthday parties, baby showers, you name it, you will see those balloon arches or balloon columns somewhere in the decor for whatever event is going on. Dollar Tree has yet to come out with anything to help you make those. They have balloons, of course, but now look what they got. This is balloon glue, which is pretty much the same as glue dots um, but it's in the party section by the balloons and it says balloon glue so this is something that they use to make those columns and um, arches they also have balloon arch strips here and um, that's what it looks like on the back it is 16.4 feet so it's pretty long and of course it looks like you can cut it it's taped i can't tell it but um but i'm pretty sure you can cut it to whatever um length that you need it to be shorter taller um whatever um they have these now now if you go to amazon they have those balloon arch kits and you pay like 15 bucks for the kit and that's the balloons um these two items um and a few other things now that the dollar tree carries this that same kit will cost you five bucks um you buy the the glue dots you buy the art strips two packs of balloons depending on how big you want your arch or column or whatever um and the ribbon because you have to have the ribbon to hold it together. Actually, you don't because you can put it on this. So again, five bucks and you're done and you have a beautiful background and backdrop for any event. Now, when I got up to the counter, I don't know if your store has um, a section, a clearance section. Yes, there's a clearance section in the Dollar Tree. Um, I looked in the bin because it's right there in the register line so if you're waiting in line you just happen to look in the bin or whatever if it's there it, it's normally in the front of the store somewhere and i look down and i seen this the balloon um mylar balloon i guess that's what you call call it um the easy display includes a straw well it doesn't include a straw um and i'll show you in a minute but it was it was taken out the pack and refold it and put back in here and if you can see it says two for a dollar so i paid 50 cents for it it does not have the straw that's probably why it was 50 cents but i opened it to see if anything was wrong with the actual balloon and so from what i can tell it's pretty big guys look at this it won't even fit in the frame right now says B day pretty big I didn't see any tears or or um, holes or anything like that I think 
again, it was just taken out the package and they lost um, the straw to help blow your balloon up and refold it so it is wrinkly or whatever but once you inflate it those wrinkles come right out i know you get these mylar balloons all the time you can order them from amazon and they come folded and they have creases in them but once you blow them up those creases pop right out you don't have to worry about it so of course i didn't fold mine right so it's wrinkly but for 50 cent for a huge balloon mylar balloon that I can pretty much blow up myself with either an air pump or a helium tank. Um, I have both. And then if you buy the Happy, which I have to go back and get the Happy, so to say Happy B-Day, um, the Happy, I believe, has a straw in it, so you can use that straw, or you can just go and get a straw, um, whichever you want to do whatever suits your fancy and i believe that is all from my dollar tree haul this week um i'm going to try to be going next week again i am on a hunt for those clay molds and a few other items i do i have a list i always have a list of stuff that i'm getting from dollar tree i love Dollar Tree that is just my spot and like I said here lately in the past year or so Dollar Tree has been getting some great products in that you you're just your mind is blown by what they get in they got cake boss in they got these candy molds in and just these gold baskets I, I get all that stuff and you know just thinking outside of the box and if you have projects coming up or diys you just look at the things and you're just like oh my gosh this would be perfect this would be great and it's good quality and it looks really really good it does not look like you get it from dollar tree at all um so i'll be going back again next week and i will show you my haul from next week until then again thank you all for joining me and watching this video don't forget to like and subscribe and i will be seeing you soon i hope you enjoy your week everybody have a good day